to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about calls and answering some of your questions. If you guys want to hear about all of those things, then just keep on watching. All right, so my hair is pretty small at the moment. It gets much bigger than this, like during the day when it gets like some more air and things like that. This is basically just done. So you guys have asked me questions about what my hair looks like when it's basically just finished, when I just finished styling it and this is exactly what it looks like. So let's get into my routine and products and things like that. I use the Tresemme Botanique range. I use the shampoo, conditioner and the co-wash. The co-wash I'll use like maybe like, yeah, like once a week, maybe once every two weeks. So I have implemented that into my whole routine. And then after I wash my hair, I will put a t-shirt on my hair and dry it like that. I don't rub the t-shirt on my hair. I simply just wrap my hair and then I leave it to just have the um, t-shirt absorb all of the water that's left. So for styling, what I will apply first is my favorite. This is the Curl La La from Aunt Jackie's and it's a defining curl cool custard. So I just wanted to chat about this specific product, shea butter and olive oil. So you can imagine that it makes your hair very defined and kind of like if you apply too much it can look very oily and I just want to clear something up quickly my hair is not the same as yours so each and every person with curls has a different type of curl type or um, like your different texture so what works for my curls might not necessarily work for yours so you guys must just be careful when it comes to that, like I know there's a lot of ladies asking me about the products that I use, but it's just what I use, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work for your hair. I have very thick hair. When it's curly, it's proper like bush <laughs> and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger after this. So my hair can handle all of the weight that this product adds, all of the oil that this product adds to the hair. Whereas someone with thinner hair, still curly, but thinner, might not be able to hold all of that weight. And then it weighs the hair down because there's product build up, there's um, oiliness, and it just, it doesn't work. So what I would recommend is actually getting like a sample maybe of certain products or you can ask like a salon and ask them what they would recommend for curly hair. So I will use this when my hair is still wet, not like soaking wet, but like, like damp. So I'll add that into, I don't put it on my roots. I'll start from here and then I'll massage it into the hair and especially on my tips because my tips can look a bit dry if I'm not careful. So I'll use the on Jackie's and then I'll add this product. This is the Tresemme Beautiful Volume uh, Hair Maximizer. And it just adds like this beautiful volume into your hair. And I put it at the root so it massages and adds more volume. I just do that basically into the hair. Um, you guys will notice as well, I don't use that mousse anymore. That's, there's no reason for it. It's literally just, I ran out and then I bought another bottle and then I ran out of that. I'm fine without it kind of a thing. Like I've realized my hair is actually okay without it. When my hair is basically the way it is now, where it's like kind of dry, but there's still spots of dampness. I'll use the Moroccan oil treatment and this is for all hair types and it comes in this bottle and it's got a nice like little nozzle thing here. So I'll use that only one pump and I'll just um, make sure that I apply that all over the hair but mostly focusing on the ends as well. Those are the three products that I use whenever I wash my hair and then it's time to style it again. Alright, so for the actual diffusing part, I use this bad boy. This is the GH, yeah, the GHDA, that's what it's called. And then I use the diffuser nozzle. So it's just in a little attachment that I add onto it. This came with the hairdryer. 
So many of you have asked about this as well, like where you can get this attachment. 100% honest, I have no idea. I think maybe Clicks will have it or Discam. My one came with my hairdryer. I have no complaints about this. I really, really enjoy this hairdryer. And I've had it for about a year as well. It's perfect for my hair. It doesn't get too hot. Like if I blow dry my hair even like to make it straight, then it's also, it doesn't like damage the hair, you know? You can get this online at obviously like GHD. And I think they sell them at specific like hair salons. I know like Colton stocks GHD um, products. So when I'm not using this, because as you can see, like I don't have that much that I've used in here because it is a very concentrated product. I use this one if I'm not using that. This is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth and it's got marula oil in it. And this smells so, so good. I really enjoy using this product and it is quite inexpensive. Um, and it adds a beautiful shine to your hair. I must say it's not like a silicone, like silicone has a different texture. Um, that one is like it's like an oil so when it comes to taming my hair um, like when I put my hair in those slick buns when it's still curly um, but I'll do like a nice slick bun or like really slick ponytail and then I just got like a nice big bushy at the back so this is what I use to keep my hair down so this is Carol's daughter hair milk and it's alcohol free gel so i got this as actually like a press drop i'm not obviously going to use things that i don't enjoy and this is one product that i've really been enjoying so i'll actually use a toothbrush to sit down all of the hair that obviously needs to be put down but if i want like an extra extra firm hold if i know it's like windy outside or something then i'll use this one this is moroccan oil texture clay and this is actually supposed to just build texture in your hair. So even if your hair is like this, or if it's like a nice like wave, like beach wavy, you add this and it adds beautiful texture into your hair. But what I use it for is slicking my hair back. <laughs> so I'll use this as well with like my toothbrush. It smells like that typical Moroccan oil product, but it is quite expensive. So if you don't want to go for something expensive, I would recommend the gel. This is something that I use for deep treatment or deep conditioning. This is Carol's Daughter's Hair Smoothie and it's got cocoa, shea and pro vitamin B5 in it. So I use this product maybe twice every two weeks and I actually just do it in the shower or if I really want to do like a proper deep treatment then obviously I'll leave it on when I'm out the shower and everything and then just rinse it. I leave it on for about seven to ten minutes. It says five to seven but for deep treatment at 7 to 10 and then it says you can use it about once each week so my hair feels really like moisturized afterwards and it smells good so yeah guys those are the products that i use like overall that's basically it for products i'm getting caught up with just fixing my hair okay so someone asked ever thought about making a curly hair journey video so i kind of did a curly hair uh, journey video in collaboration with Tresemme where i spoke about what my hair was like when i was younger and through my teenage years and all of those things so i will link that down below um, so you guys can go check that out it's not on youtube it's on my igtv i have made a curly hair journey video but it's not like super long you know it's probably about like a minute or two yeah so i don't want to like make another one because then i feel like i'm literally just going to be repeating myself like the same as what i did in that video so yeah i do have one check the description box and i'll link it for you guys what products do you recommend that are affordable so like i mentioned i would recommend the on jackie's um products so you can see like what it is that you need specifically like they've got ones like like different ranges so you can see what it is that you need and i would say that you want something that's going to work and you're gonna have to put a little bit more money into that if you really are serious about like getting your hair on this journey you know that was i think 69 rand 70 rand 
and it lasts like really long for me um, especially because I have thick hair you would think it goes up quite quickly it doesn't I would recommend investing in that even though it's not that expensive I would just recommend on Jackie's and Carol's daughter as well and you can find those both in clicks okay so how do you control frizz like I mentioned the products that I use help with my frizz so i use the Kolala, but then also this product it helps to control the frizz in your hair other one as well the keratin smooth so these oils help to control the frizz in your hair all of the products that i use claim to control the frizz but i find like those two specifically help with it my frizz is mainly at the back so that's where i kind of have to put like most of the product and then sometimes on the, at the top, I think you can maybe see, but those are the only ones that I can actually say make like a difference in my hair. How do I get my curls to be soft but defined? The curl creams leave them hard. Okay, so this is exactly what I just spoke about. So curl creams are not for everybody. Like I said, like my hair is very, very soft at the moment. Like if you feel it, but it depends on the amount that you put on your curls. Your curls will be hard. It will be oily if you're using too much. Go with like a, I can't even explain like a ratio. So if you have thin hair, I wouldn't recommend using so much product. It's so difficult to like explain because you can't be using so much product like I do if your hair isn't the same like amount or the same curl type or something you know what i mean so just try and balance that ratio like hair to curl cream kind of a thing so use a small amount but also try and add some um like frizz control or something to it and then you'll see maybe it will help with that the softness of your hair okay so someone asked how often do you diffuse I diffuse, I wash my hair probably twice a week, like the beginning of the week and then like maybe like a Thursday or Friday. I diffuse my hair every time I wash it. Trust me, my hair is going to look very flat. The thing is, if I don't diffuse my hair, you'll be able to see like my actual length of my hair because the curls will just fall flat. So diffusing helps to create volume in my hair and it brings like that height as well that I need. So I diffuse twice a week. What is the best product to restore curls, please? Um, the best product... There was this product that I used a few years ago. I'm going to try and insert a picture here because I, for the life of me, can't remember the name. I just remember it being like a white and blue tub. And this product added so much hydration into my hair. And then what also helped me to get my curls sort of like back and black happen is cutting it so i had to trim my hair trim all that deadness off trust me your hair will not curl like properly like but like if this is the kind of curl that you're wanting your hair is not gonna do that if you don't trim your hair your hair will constantly be splitting at the ends people are like but your hair grows from the root so what is it gonna affect trust me you need to trim your hair the hair will split at the ends and that is why it's just not going to grow because it's constantly just going to be splitting like this and it's not nothing's going to happen so you need to constantly go for trims i go for a trim every six to eight weeks and i also when i go to the hair salon i also do a treatment as well that helps with my hair like my curls being all defined like i said it might not work for you but this is just something that i feel worked so nicely for my hair as well okay um how to keep your hair curly throughout the day and keeping it healthy if your hair gets very dry throughout the day i would recommend keeping like a nice spritzer with you you get ones like this one i got from pick and pay like it was like 14 or 15 rand but you get smaller ones as well so if you feel like your hair gets super dry during the day I would recommend just going to the bathroom quickly and just spritzing it a little bit, juice it up a bit. Keeping it healthy is like what I mentioned. I can't keep it healthy through the day. It's something that you have to do like over a period of, a period of time. You need to trim it, drink lots of water. It depends on your diet as well. Doing regular treatments. Guys, this is not an easy thing. It's You're not going to be able to achieve like lots of curls and defined curls by just using one product you know you need to trim it take care of it but yeah keeping it um looking good throughout the day if it gets dry 
use the spritzer. Okay, someone asked me, do you have an evening routine that you follow? No, I don't. I simply just use a scrunchie. So I put my hair up in a big pony like this and I just put it up with a scrunchie, but I only wrap it around once. So it doesn't like create like that weird like line in my hair. And then I also sleep with a silk pillow. So I think the silk pillow is something that helps a lot. Yeah, I don't have like an evening routine with my hair. Like I don't do anything. I don't tie it up in a specific way or with like a scarf. Like I don't do any of those things. Don't shoot me. <laughs> How long did it take for your curls to be perfect the way you want it? I started like wearing my hair like properly curly. I think like second year uni. Wow, that was like 2012. So it's taken me a really long time to get my hair like really really defined yeah i started in 2012 but 2012 wasn't really like i wasn't like okay i'm gonna put my mind to this and whatever like i was just like okay my hair's gonna be curly but I, I started taking proper care of my hair in 2017 i think i would say about three years three or four years i have curly hair but i've never been confident to fully embrace them and rock them any tips I, and i understand like from the beginning if you like literally just cut your hair or you're just starting this journey it can feel a little bit weird and sometimes you can even feel like why is everyone looking at me or like please don't look at my hair you know so i completely understand that it's something that you just oh my word i can only imagine like doing a big chop and you have to now adapt to that and like learn to be confident with it but i think something that could help with that is like remember why you did this remember what look you're going for you know and why you cut your hair in the first place and at the end of the day it's your hair don't let people's opinions define you don't let your hair define you it depends on what what's on the inside so i feel like if you think of it like that that could possibly assist you in a way where it's like okay i know why i'm doing this there's a longer term goal i've never really done i've never done a big chop my hair is or i've always had curly hair but i do know the whole thing of like oh don't look at my hair and like you don't know if you really even like your own hair so i completely understand that i get that because i went through a phase like that when i was like a teenager learning that this is what god has given you this is your curls you can't change them at the end of the day yes you can straighten it but if you wash your hair what's gonna happen it's going to curl if it rains it's going to curl that is the hair that god has given you and you just have to learn to embrace it and you'll notice that if you are confident with your hair and you're confident with yourself People will respect you for that and no one's going to question you about it. No one's going to be like, why do you wear your hair like that? They'll just be like, okay, yeah, cool, that's her hair. Anyway, guys, that is the end of my video. I really hope that you guys learned something and you enjoyed this video. I hope it was insightful and it gave you some guidance. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, you can also click that bell notification so when I upload, you can get a notification that I uploaded. How cool is that? I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!